briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1975, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Weinberger v. Wiesenfeld, which focused on the constitutionality of a provision in the Social Security Act that provided benefits solely to minor children of deceased female wage earners. Stephen C. Wiesenfeld was denied survivor's benefits for himself after his wife, Paula Polacek, passed away during childbirth. Wiesenfeld argued that the gender-based distinction in the Social Security Act violated the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment and was unconstitutional. The District Court for the District of New Jersey agreed, noting that the Act's assumption that male workers' earnings are vital to the support of their families, while the earnings of female wage earners do not significantly contribute to their families' support, was an archaic and overbroad generalization. Although Wiesenfeld received benefits for his son, he was not eligible for benefits for himself due to the Section 402 G benefits only being available to women. The court affirmed that this distinction was outdated and unconstitutional, adding that it also discriminated against surviving children based on the sex of the surviving parent. Ultimately, the court held that the appellant had to pay past benefits and could not deny benefits under the Act based on sex. Additionally, the court ruled provisions that discriminate against surviving children based on the sex of the surviving parent to be unconstitutional. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.